Okay, here's how you do a goblet box squat. So you're gonna grab a weight. It can be either a dumbbell or kettlebell, doesn't really matter. As long as you have a weight, you're gonna cup it underneath if it's a dumbbell. If it's a kettlebell, you'll hold it at the top at the sides. The most important thing is that you're keeping it nice and close to your chest and you're keeping your elbows tucked in. Now, you wanna get a box that's about knee height, okay? And you wanna set it up so that the corner is in between your legs. That way you can actually see yourself sitting down on the box and coming back up. When the corner is not there, you might freak yourself out and be like, oh shit, where's the box? So grab a box, put the corner between your legs, you're good to go, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in my position, take my squat stance, I'm sitting back on the box until my thighs touch, and then I'm standing back up. So let me show you from a side view. Notice how I'm sitting my butt back, weights on my heels right when my thighs touch, I'm popping back up. I'm keeping constant tension the whole time. I'm not just rocking back and standing up all loosey goosey. I'm pushing my butt back. I still have tension in my legs. I feel it in this spot right when my thighs touch, I'm popping back up, okay? And this is gonna be the same, whether it's a barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, that's how you're gonna set up the box squat.